Good morning. I'm here on one of my local rivers and I'm with another local YouTuber, Never Done Fishing. And right now he is fly fishing. And what we're hoping for is to catch some smallmouth bass today. Squeaky seat. Now you might kind of recognize this boat. This is actually a G3 18ccj DLX. It's basically the exact same boat as mine, but it's the deluxe version. So it has some chrome trim and different colors. Now what's even better about his boat is he has flotation pods on the back. Let me show you the flotation pods. Those are flotation pods. Now flotation pods help bring the back of the boat up on a tunnel hull boat, which is what this boat is, which is what my boat is. It helps you draft shallower and it helps with porpoising, which is a problem I'm having with my boat. And because it brings up the back of the boat, it helps with the trolling motor on the front. Even my 60 inch trolling motor likes to come out of the water when I'm standing on the back of the boat. And you guys know me, I live on the back of the boat because I'm always catfishing, which I'm not doing today. I know you guys like me to try for catfish, but today I'm gonna to see if I can catch a smallmouth or two. And I wanna see, you know, how stable this boat is with pods. I can already tell. It is a little bit more stable than my boat. But it is keeping the motor out of the water. So this might actually work better for catfishing. So pods for my boat is probably going to be in the future. Now I have a new rod and reel here and a top secret bait. So I'm going to get this bait in the water and maybe catch a small mouth or two or none. You never know. It's, it's fishing. It's not called catching. And I am not used to using this specific bait. So I'm going to have to learn how to use this thing. And to be honest with you guys, this secret bait, I did not get for smallmouth. I got it for walleye, but it is known to catch smallmouth. I also have some other... <laughs> I also have some other baits to try. So let's see what happens today. I love this uh, trolling motor. Mm -hmm. A lot different than fishing most of the time. Oh! Oh! You blow it? Yeah, I missed it. I guess I'll give out the secret here. This is a Rico. And this is a Cisco Shad Rico. It's supposed to be good for walleyes in the middle of the night when they're hitting top water. Walleyes don't always hit top water, but they're very unique when they hit top water. It's the craziest sound you'd ever hear with a walleye trying to suck in your bait on top of the water. I was thinking about changing baits until that one tried to hit it. We do have bluebird skies, really no clouds in the sky. And it's late morning. It's not early morning. Not really ideal conditions for top water. Although the water is a little stained. So I'm gonna give this a little bit more, keep using it, and then maybe I'll switch to something else. I've got a spinning rod that I could do a drop shot. I also have a baby bull shad that I could tie on and see if that will get anything. But at least we know there's fish here. Oh no, oh, okay. I'm squirrel fishing. Ricos are not cheap baits either. I think this was $21 at a local place, Edgemore Outdoors. You can get them online for like $25. It's not a cheap popper to be thrown into trees. You wanna grab it, I guess. You have control of the trolling motor. <laughs> well, managed to catch a tree. Oh, cicadas all over that tree too. You know, I have a crazy idea. 
catch one of those suckers once you get it out. I'm gonna put it on a hook. That's probably what the smallmouth are eating. I'm gonna catch a 50 pound striper with this thing. Cicada hatch is in full effect, and I have this rigged for live bait. So I'm gonna drop this down while we're fishing for smallmouth once we get out of uh, the tree here. Oh, there's another one on the boat. Plenty of bait. I probably should help. Thank you. This is a uh, size 2 bait boss hook. I got it to use with shiners. But it should be small enough for these small cicadas. Just drift with it. How deep is the water? It is... Uh, I don't know how to read a Garmin. 13 feet. Okay. <laughs> well, this should be good. Leave it to me to be live bait fishing on a bass fishing trip. First fish of the day. He ain't big, but he's decent. Wow, that's really dark, that smallmouth. Yeah, he's real dark. Nice. Well, video is not skunked at least. He's fat though. Fat one. Normal yeah. little small small like that yeah. aren't very fat, but he's got a belly on him. They get close a little bigger. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Nice little small, eh? Cool. Right. Nothing has grabbed the cicadas yet. I've gone through a few of them. And I've tried a baby bull shad, I've tried a whopper plopper, I've tried, uh, what was the last one? Chatterbait, and nothing yet. So I think I'm gonna revert to some type of drop shot rig on the spinning rod and reel, which is what he just caught that fish with. Not sure how I'm gonna rig this. Ugh. I'm just gonna use one of my lucky baby brush hogs. See if I can get something with that. So one out worm hook I'm borrowing from him. With the drop shot, you put it up the line and put the sinker at the bottom of the line. This is a baby brush hog. I've caught more bass on this than anything else I've ever tried. Then I have these little drop shot sinkers. They just kind of hang on the line. They're meant to come off easy if you get into a snag. And I'm just duplicating what he's doing. Really short rig. There you go, drop shot. You got another one? <laughs> he's on fire. <laughs> cool. That one swallowed it pretty deep, so he had to cut the line and let it go. Now let's see if I can catch something on my drop shot. Alright, I changed up to what he has, but I'm using one of my bait boss hooks. And I'm hung up. Right 
probably should be a little bit more clear about the bait boss hooks. They're from Flea Fly, which is a sister company of Team Catfish. They're basically miniature Team Catfish double action circle hooks. Part of my promotional staff with Team Catfish is also with Flea Fly. So I bought a few of their baits, which I will try out at some point for crappie or bass or whatever, walleye. I bought the bait boss for fishing with shiners and maybe small goldfish. Hopefully I'll be able to catch something before we call it. All right, we're just about ready to call it. It is getting hot out. And we're getting to the end of the cliffs. He hasn't been able to catch anything on the fly rod. He brought that back out. But he's been able to catch a bunch on a drop shot rig. And I have not caught anything. That's okay. That's usually what happens when I go bass fishing. Unless I'm using like live bait. Oh yeah, before I end the video. This is my new rod and reel. A Lose American Hero. I actually had one of these at the beginning of this channel. I smashed a couple of lures and I may have caught a couple of small bass with it, but I thought it was a good combo. Back then I thought it was a good combo and right now I think it's a good combo still. And yes, it's not a Kuma. I just wanted to get a stronger rod for that Rico and you know, they had this for 80 bucks. Rod and reel. Maybe $89. A lot of jet boats passing us up. Anyway, be sure to check his channel out. <laughs>